Welcome back to Python interview tutorial. In the series of Python interview tutorial, I focus one more important coding question and their solution. The question is, how many numbers are smaller than the current number? This question is also available in the lead code. Question number is 1365. Given the array number for each number of i, find out how many numbers in the array are smaller than it. That is, for each number of i, you have to count the number of valid j's such that j not equal to i and number of j is less than number of i. Let me explain the problem first. In the problem, we have to find out the smaller number than the current number. Consider the example 1 which having the element 8, 1, 2, 2, 3. By scanning this list, 8 is the first element. We have to count how many number smaller than 8. There were 4 numbers smaller than 8. Then next number is 1. How many numbers smaller than 1 is 0. How many numbers smaller than 2 is only 1. So that is been output. Again same for these 2 that is 1. How many numbers smaller than 3? 3 numbers were smaller than 3. So likewise we have to count the smaller number than the current number. Also maintain the count in the output list. Let us try this example through the python coding. Before going to start, if you first time visit the channel, then do subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get the latest update on this interview preparation topic. Let us start the discussion. First of all, I'll take a function smaller number and input to the function is a list one. I want to preserve the output in a list, so I'll create an empty list. After that, I will count length of my list one. Then we'll iterate from the first element for i inner range will be iterate for all the element in the list. We have to count the total number of element which is less than the current element. So we are going to take a variable count initially 0. Then we will compare the element ith index with the jth index. So for j inner range till the element of the list. Two conditions are mentioned in the problems that is j not equal to i and num of i sorry num of j is less than num of i so we have to compare this both the conditions so if condition number one and condition number two this input is list one so i just replace this num with the list one because our input is list one we'll compare this both the condition if both the conditions are true it means that we will get the element which is less than the current element. So we will increment the count value by 1. After that, this process is repeat till the value of j. So we will append the output with the total count element. How many element is less than that current element. This process is repeat for all the element and we are going to print the output in the output list. After that, we will call the function, but for that we require an input. So, 8, 1, 2, 2, 3. This is our first example input and we are going to call the function. Smaller number and my num is input to the function. When I execute the code, I will get the output 40113, which is also expected in the given problem. 40113. I explain again the output 81223. So, 4 number of element were less than the 8. 0 number of element less than 1. In the second example, 4, 6, 5, 4, 8. So, we will take that example. 6, 5, 4, 8. 6, 5, 4, 8. And we will compile again. 4, 2, 1, 0, 3. Once we take the input 6, 5, 4, 8, we will get the output 2, 1, 0, 3. So, two number of elements less than 6, that is 5 and 4. Only one element less than 5, that is a 4. No element less than 4, so outcome is 0. And three numbers are less than 8. So, we will get the output 3. So, likewise you can solve this problem to count the smaller number than the current number. This is one of the solution that I tried for this problem. There are also many solutions are available for this problem. If you know any one of the solution, you can write it in the comment section. I hope you understand the solution of this problem. Thanks for watching this video.